Good night, everyone. Today is Wednesday, uh, October the 26th, around 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's Wednesday, but it looks like Friday already. This week has been tough. It's been very tough all around to be trade. And hopefully, uh, like we wrote on the overview, this market decided which way it goes. If it goes right here or if it goes down here. I was talking to a friend today and I was telling him that the market is at the same stage, same scenarios that when the market was around 130, 150 and we were calling that the bound was coming, that the bounce coming. As a service guys, that's all we can do. We have to let you guys know that a bounce is coming so you, you guys cannot get burned into that hype of of the popular market in other words you guys cannot get burned into that that expectation like when it was a 131 everyone was, say, was saying that the market is going to go to one uh, to 112 that's our job as a service express to you guys and show you guys what we really think of the market uh, it hasn't changed that much. It hasn't done anything that we couldn't expect in today. This is how we see it, guys. We want to see 7547. Below 7547, this count right here is going to go to alternative when this is A and this is B. And then you're going to expect what five ways from. You're going to expect five ways from there. As of right now, I got to tell you guys, is like a, I've been saying, this is my personal technique of trading. I mean, I don't know if you guys agree or not, but I cannot sell the dollar like this. This is a huge divergency that everyone needs to have into consideration. Remember, let me put the other side back, when the dollar was right here what we were saying is look the divergency and the market is gonna bounce and I remember that we saw this bounce we saw this bounce and that's the reason guys the RSI do not lie so according to my count this is what we have one two one two three four five a three a four and we got one two three four and a five let me point you guys out that if you take some feeble here you're gonna see that the low today is the 1.61a you're gonna see that the the high today is the 3802 right there by the pit right there 3802 and then most likely we're gonna go lower now I know that we're gonna go lower but I wanna say 7547 that's like the last sand the last lane in the sand for this count to be correct that's a huge area together with 7574 so what we are expecting for tonight is the US dollar weakness at least in five weeks before a bounce happen a taking of 7547 and then we could have to take a more aggressive view on the dollar when which is good in some ways but is dollar bullish in, in the other because remember triangles cannot be wave two so technically if that's the case and 7547 is take it all you have to do is being on the sideline a little bit and then guess what and start attacking the, the dollar for a lower prices so uh, now how it's gonna go is if that's the case you got one two you're working in three a four and a five and that's if you contract this a little bit it's gonna take the dollar to what we call the last on the bullish dollar a scenario this is the last level that it can be taken it comes around 7497 which is the 76.4 of 
the last leg out within the nest. Another scenario is that's the K, another level is 7391, which is the equal legs from here. But the angle, guys, the angle, be honest with you guys, I start, I, and I'm going to be honest to you guys, I start to believe that no even the nest is in place unless we get this big retracement or unless that this is a b so if this retracement is going to happen it has to be deep and then lower because remember a taking on the dollar index of around 7350 area that's going to become bearish to the dollar but as of right now this is my recom my recommendation guys play this count as a planet and don't be surprised for a bounce pretty soon I think that uh, that this is what's gonna take place but I want you guys to understand that there is a chance that what we saw today is wave one and the dollar or wave C wave two and the market is gonna soar alright now that's for the dollar index I want to show you something that is come to my attention that is supporting the idea of the C way the market like I've been saying all day the market is at the edge it's not either one thing or the other I mean the oil trade if this is B this looks too big to be a way for going with these two but at the same time if you count the swing from here it goes like one two three four five six seven swing it is corrected so either this is four and five to come or either there is a top right here and in that being the case if that's the top right there you need to figure it out this part right here maybe you got one two three four five and then this is one two three four five and top in oil is in place like I say it's very tricky it's very questionable anything that's why we have been saying stay on the sideline line because the market is gonna clarify guys nothing it lasts forever when it comes to trading so uh, so technically the better you do is stay on the side line wait a little bit and you guys are gonna see how the market is gonna clarify himself now like we mentioned on on the seminar today copper is just ending or ended a five-way move that's gonna come risk aversion to the market and that's one of the reasons that we keep saying that we are here for a bounce we keep saying that and that's what we see it and we're gonna stay like that that's the same way that we were when the words are 135.50 is because that's what we get guys and reading the market we get that the market is here to make a bounce now let's go to the individual pairs for the moment like a, like a, in the dollar on the euro we have a similar situation it's, as I expressed it that copycat one of the other we see this move guys and I tell you the truth <sighs> maybe I'm that wrong but this for me is a diagonal by the book now I mean look at the momentum divergency on the lows on the RSI look at the momentum divergency look like the contraction of the price so for me it can break higher I don't say no that's why we are presenting that that's why we are presenting that the two scenarios on the euro dollar on the one hour chart but the way that the way that the way are seeing and after seeing this first leg here unless it make a nest right here a second nest is gonna be very hard to break high so I see this momentum divergency if I buy 
it's going to be buying as a personal account and with a defined small risk because at any moment either is the big way or is a huge move to the downside is about to happen RSI do not lie and I'm going to show you guys so you guys remember remember when the market was coming here look at the RSI look the momentum divergence what we were saying a bounce coming a bounce coming until the bounce come that's how it is guys sooner or later RSI is going to correct himself now that's on the euro in the four hour you guys understand I know the movement in the one hour which we we are favoring we are favoring a steer this is an area when we have an A, a B, and a C in an ending diagonal coming in, what we got today is a B way diagonal, a B way of the diagonal. And it should end, if my count is correct, it should end at some place around, I would say, 140.29, 140.14. It can be that the deal can be there. 140.10 another scenario is right here 140.05 I mean if it goes about 140.50 I can say or if it break this if you guys see it tonight that London take it higher and then it break this channel right there that now comes around 4037 to the outside then the scenario is that this is a, a wave 4 and then it did a wave B I'm sorry and then it did a triangle there and then you got one a flat 2 and then the euro is gonna go to 142 143 area before any significant move to the downside you gotta wait and see give it a chance of tonight and we're going to have an answer by tomorrow. It's pretty close right there. So we should have an answer by tomorrow. Now, seeing another pair, uh, it bring out our attention cable. When we went cable is in a clear count from the lows when you got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, and four. Like we said today. We like cable to around 161 and change, and from there it should trade lower. I mean, look at the RSI in cable, and you guys seeing that everything that is happening now is giving you momentum divergency, which is telling you a cycle is coming to the end, and we're gonna keep saying the same guys. Nothing that we cannot say it other than that. Now, S and P also very interesting and this is what we are spreading another high and possible believe it or not guys with all this move maybe what we ending is wave 3 on the S&P look at the momentum divergence that we're getting in that move I mean you don't have to be a genius to know that you're buying win next if you're buying risk at this stage I'll know a, a witness buying a buyer, so I stay on the sideline, and that's the reason that we haven't sent no trades this week. That's how we operate, even though we have a new program that we're going to start implementing as soon as the market clarify a little bit. All right, that's for the S and P. And finally, I would like to mention to you guys one pair that maybe you guys agree with us or no but a pair that is is telling everything and that's the Norija crown let me go to the Norija crown in the daily on the daily and then I'm gonna put right here the candles so you guys see it better I'm gonna open a little bit and you guys can see this look at the count what you see, you see a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, 
and a five. Levels that he can reach, it can go as lower as 541, but I want to see this pair around 547 before it bounce. Now, let me reduce and put the 720 chart on the Norwegian Chrome. And this is what you get. You get one, two, one, two, three, four, and the five, one, two, three, four, five, this is three. Isa bring to my attention today this point. And you guys are gonna see this. That this law right here. is the 2618 by the pit right there which is telling me that this is one two three four five now if you take a look to the RSI you're gonna see that this is the low, the lowest read in the 720 miniature so that's telling me as clear that that's a five if to be honest with you guys I've been thinking about it maybe maybe the US dollar is set he said for the new low below 7240 and what we ending now is wave one of the of the next cycle within the US dollar look at the RSI lowest re divergency so it's clear so that's I'm gonna leave the message there that don't get too enthusiastic about the dollar loan but, I'm sorry, the dollar sure, uh, the dollar sure, right? Yes, the dollar sure, because I see it as a five ways, guys. I would be lying to you guys if I don't say that. I see it as a five ways and a new, a bounce coming. Like I say, check on this level, 545 to possible end. If we take a look at the one minute, at the one hour chart, and the Norwegian crown. Look, as we plan it today, this is what we're getting. Look at this count in a one hour. Look at this count. One, a flat two, and then one, two, one, two, three, four, a five. Look at the RSI is giving me divergency there. And then this invalidate any scenario when you have a flat like the dollar. This is invalidate everything. This is a wave five. That's what we favor in the ending diagonal in the euro. Look. And then look at the fever levels. One, two, to the 61A area right there look to the 61A and then the rebounds here comes to the 30 or 2 by the pit and we should trade lower I agree now 5 equals 1 I fit 544 546 and I see it look there is divergency here we are with a wave 5 we should get 3 backs and, and, and and on the RSI we should get the full back and then higher but like I say guys everything is divergency and in favor against the dollar so I believe that the dollar is close to a bounce maybe I'm wrong that's why we leave in the door opened we are we always don't have the right counsel leave it like that let's wait for the market to clarify thank you